Multi-method research is really hot right now in political science. Why? I could go on for like a thousand years about why this is the new trend, but fundamentally it's because people have realized something fairly obvious. If you want to figure out as much as you can about a phenomenon, it's smart to figure out different ways to look at it. Now, multi-method research can mean any kind of approach to a problem where you gather different data in different forms and use it to triangulate problem solving and getting more information. But most often when people talk about multi-method research, what they mean is combining one qualitative and one quantitative way of gathering data. Now, the like hardcore qualitative researcher in me says, you know, we can do multi-method research without ever having to resort to numbers. But in this case, I mean that sort of research where you do one thing with numbers and then you do another thing with words or people or observation or different sorts of uh, action and you combine them in order to get a richer picture. Now in fact I think this is a great idea because there are some things you can only learn from the kind of high level distributional analysis that statistics give you and there are other things you can only learn through observation or talking to people. Things that aren't readily convertible to numbers. The important thing to figure out about a multi-method research project is how the two parts relate to each other. You don't want to just create a system where you're counting things for the sake of counting things, or on the other hand, where you're gathering some qualitative data just so that you can say you did it. You really want to make sure that the different parts of the project complement each other well. Many of you guys may be thinking about your research design for the project for this class, and so you may be thinking about how you would combine qualitative and quantitative data. In this module, what you're going to do is see some examples of it and start figuring out how it might work to fit these two very complementary patterns of investigation together.